is, you know, <laughs> they're the team that is mostly power rated in the top four <laughs> and uh, they're not in the playoffs, but um, and because they believe that other teams deserve to be in the playoffs. Of course, Central Florida didn't deserve it, but Notre Dame did. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really silly, the reasoning that they use. But um, my big question here is, what's Georgia's, Georgia's uh, motivation? After losing that game to Bama with a terrible fake punt, and now they're out of the playoffs, they had higher goals, what is their motivation? Um, such a defeating loss. And does beating Texas really prove anything? Most power rings has Georgia by about 11 to 14 points here. So the spread's right. Jake Fromm, he's a baller. And I think he will try to win. But then again, Sam Ellinger um, from Texas is also a winner. you know. And we don't have to talk about Tom Herman's record as a dog. We don't have to talk about that. Just because Fromm's motivated doesn't mean the rest of the team will be, though. Texas plays up or down to their competition, it seems. I mean, if you looked all day, all year, they barely beat some bad teams, and then they keep up with the good teams, even beat Oklahoma this year, right? Um, I have this game, Georgia, 35-23. to 23. Um, No lean on the side due to motivational questions. So like before, when I mentioned the LSU game, I think this is a great opportunity to do a live betting situation here. If you don't want to live bet, bet it, I have a small lean to Georgia at minus 13. They might want to pound Texas because, you know, Bama beat Oklahoma, but they didn't cover. And uh, I, I lean over 58 points as well. Um, I think this could be a higher scoring game. But uh, a small lean to Georgia right now, but a perfect situation to live bet it. Kind of see who is motivated here. Should you have any questions with this podcast or any of the plays, please tweet us at the odds breakers everyone out there have a fantastic new year's and go get some winners